Welcome to Storytime with Teacher Matthew. Today's book is The Curious Garden by Peter Brown. The Curious Garden. <gasps> there once was a city without gardens or trees or greenery of any kind. Most people spent their time indoors. As you can imagine, it was a very dreary place. Dreary means that we're in the blue zone. However, there was one boy who loved being outside, even on drizzly days, while everyone else stayed inside. He would always find Liam happily splashing through his neighborhood. It was on one such morning that Liam made several surprising discoveries. He was wandering around the old railway, as he did from time to time, when he stumbled upon a dark stairwell leading up to the tracks. The railway had stopped working ages ago, and since Liam had always wanted to explore the tracks, there was only one thing for a curious boy to do. Liam ran up the stairs, pushed open the door, and stepped out onto the railway. The first thing he saw was a lonely patch of color on the railway. Hmm, wildflowers and plants were the last things he had expected to find up here. But when he took a closer look, it became clear that the plants were dying. They needed a gardener. Liam may have not been a gardener, but he knew that he could help. So he returned to the railway the very next day and got to work. The flowers nearly drowned. And he had a few pruning problems, but the plants patiently waited while Liam found better ways of gardening. As the weeks rolled by, Liam began to feel like a real gardener, and the plants began to feel like a real garden. Most gardens stay in one place, but this was no ordinary garden. With miles of open railway ahead of it, the garden was growing restless. It wanted to explore. The tough little weeds and moss were the first to move. They popped up further and further down the track and they were closely followed by the more delicate plants. And over the next few months, Liam and the Curious Garden explored every corner of the railway. Oh yeah, you can see the blue skies now. I wonder what's happening. Oh yeah, it's getting to be fall. And then after fall is winter. After spending his spring and summer and fall in the garden, Liam's time on the railway was finally interrupted by winter. Heavy blankets of snow fell on the city that season. And for the first time since he became a gardener, Liam could not visit his plants. Rather than waste his winter worrying about the garden, Liam spent it preparing for spring. After three cold months, the snow finally began to melt and Liam rolled his new gardening gear over to the railway. Winter had taken its toll on the garden, but thanks to Liam's planning, his handy new tools, and a little help from the sun, the plants soon awoke from their winter sleep. The garden had always wanted to explore the rest of the city, and that spring it was finally ready to make its move. Once again, the tough little weeds and moss set out first. They popped out further and further from the railway, and they were closely followed by the more delicate plants. The garden was especially curious about old forgotten things. A few plants popped up where they did not belong. Others mysteriously popped up all at once. Yeah, he's delivering plants. That's pretty cool. But the most surprising thing that popped up were the new gardeners. You see all the new gardens? 
Many years later, the entire city had bloomed. But of all the new gardens, Liam's favorite was where it had all began. Yep, there's Liam. And now Liam has kids of his own. Be and today I want to know, did you like the dirty no garden city or did you like the city with the garden that's clean?